Alright, Habiters, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Habiter Danielle, and this is our Extra Math Challenge for today. Grade 9, Quarter 3, Module 6, Similarity of Triangles and Other Polygons. Um, here, mga Habiters, is we have two figures uh, which are similar, namely, figure past and figure oral. In our first problem, um, Figure past is similar to figure oral. And the sides of figure past are 15 centimeters, 18 centimeters, 24 centimeters, and 21 centimeters. And the shortest side of figure oral is 10 centimeters. Erase this. So now the question is what is the scale factor of figure past? to figure oral. Remember, my inhabitors, that in the problem, it is said that figure pass is similar to figure oral. Since they are both similar, um, we can say that um, their sides are also similar and that means that their sides are also proportional. So, since um, both their shorter sides are given, um, we can divide by order from past, which is 15, over um, oral, which is 10, to find the um, scale factor of figure pass to figure oral. So, um, we will let it as a improper function, but we will reduce it to its lowest term. So, the lowest term of 15 over 10 is 3 over 2. So, this 3 over 2 is now our scale factor of figure pass to figure oral. Next, let's move on to the next problem. In the next problem, the question is, what is the length of the longest side of figure oral? Since um, it is said, before in the problem, um, that these, these figures are both similar, we can also say that their sides are, are similar and therefore proportional. So, um, since they are both similar, and in figure oral, this side is the longest, we can also say that in the figure oral, this side is also the longest. And since we need to find the, length, the length of the longest side of figure oral, we will name the side AL as X. We will let the, the length of side AL as X. So, to solve this problem, um, we will use proportions. Just like we did before, um, since 15 and 10 are proportional, we can write it as 15 over 10. And equals, and since these two are also proportional, we can also write it as 24 over x. So, the next thing we will do is use, is do cross multiplication. So, 15 times x, we have 15x. And 10 times 24, and we have 240. So, we will now divide both sides by 15. 
and we will get a e value of x is equal to 16. So, let us substitute 16 to x, and this is now the length of the longest side, which is al is equal to 16. So now, my inhabitors, is we have another problem. Ah, okay. So in the problem, there is um, the problem, figure a triangle, um, yeah, triangle M and G is similar, similar to triangle CAP. So, we will draw this figure. I will illustrate this figure. Ah, this. So this one. And this is M and G. The other one is C A P. And in the problem, um, side MN is 24. Side NG is 20. MG is X. Side CA is 12, side CP is 15, and side AP is 10. So now the question is, what is the length of side MG? So to find the, the length of side MG, we will use um, proportions to find the length of side MG, just like we did in the previous um, example. So, so it is said that triangle A, M, and G is similar to triangle C, A, P. And therefore, their sides are proportional. So, if their sides are proportional, we can write it as this, as in this equation. So, 24. Um, ah, okay, let's use a uh, uh, smaller number. Let's use this instead. So 20 over x. So again, since we use this side from the triangle M and G, we will use also use this side from triangle C A P. So 10 over 15. So, now, what we will do is use cross multiplication. So, 20 times 15, we have 300. And x times 10 is 10x. So, divide both sides by 10, and we have a value, we have the value of x of x is equal to 30. Substitute this. 30 to x. We have found the, value, the length of mg which is 30. So, easy right? So, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, Please don't hesitate to comment down below. So peace out.